Can you believe we're this deep into the NFL season? We got to make every second count. With DraftKings Sportsbook, you can make the most out of every game day. Bet on your favorite teams for a shot at winning big bucks. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting five on any matchup. Get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the app now. Use code SHANNON. New customers can score 150 instantly in bonus bets for betting just five bucks on the NFL. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Hello, welcome to another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85 team that just took a beat down last uh tonight and and suffered an injury. We don't know the extent of it, but yeah. it didn't look good. Uh he was unable to finish the game, left the game mm-hmm. somewhere around the two-minute mark in the second quarter, did not return. We're at 296,000 subscribers. Make Ooh. sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you click the like button. Get us to 300000 tonight before the show ends, and we'll have another $10,000 giveaway, and we're giving away $500 to 20 participants. So oh, yeah. make sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, thank you guys for waiting around for us tonight. Again, we've also pinned Shea by Laportier at the top of the chat. Uh, the holidays are right around the corner, Thanksgiving. Hey, you got some birthdays and Christmas. So uh, go ahead and, and order your bottle of Shea for yourself or someone that you love and make sure they have a very, very festival, festive holiday. Again, make sure you click that subscribe button. Ocho, we're going to jump right into it. Yeah. Shakur Stevens beat Edwin Dolos Santos by yes. unanimous decision. Oh, yeah. Stevenson picked up the vacant lightweight uh, title with a unanimous decision. Mm-hmm. Stevenson was not celebrating after the fight. Mm-mm. said it was a bad performance and he needed to reassess himself. Yeah. What did you take away from the fight? I mean, obviously, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. For those that actually watch boxing and enjoy the sweet science itself and all that it entails, you enjoyed a great chess match. That's exactly what it was. There were there were fans in the crowd that were booing, obviously, that that don't understand boxing. It's about hitting and not getting hit. And it's it's a chess match. It's, a, it's called mental gymnastics for a reason. Obviously, it was not a fight that many of them enjoyed, but it was one that I enjoyed understanding exactly what I'm watching. Um, it was a dangerous fight for Shakur. It was a good test for Shakur, and he fared well, and it came out on the winning end. I, I think the thing is that, you know, sometimes, like, when you spend your hard-earned money, it's like going to see a football game. Right, and right. And a football game, is all of a sudden, it's a, it's a, it's a 10-7 ball game. Right. It's like, man... I right. didn't want to see that, but you understand right. that right. every game is not going to be 31-28. It's not going to be 35-38. And Mm-mm. sometimes you have to win ugly. Sometimes yeah. you're going to have to win a fight. Mm-hmm. Um, like you said, you win it unanimous uh, by unanimous decision. You mm-hmm. win it by majority de- decision. Right. Right. As long as you don't take unnecessary punishment mm-hmm. or you don't lose, you mm-hmm. have to feel good with a victory. But right. I think the thing is, is that in order for you to get that big payday, mm-hmm. it's hard to get that big payday. Mm-hmm. And see, people think Floyd Mayweather started off getting big paydays. He didn't. Mm-hmm. But no. Floyd was dropping people early mm-hmm. in Floyd's career. Or early in his career. Yeah. Yeah. He Floyd was banging. Was, he was banging. He was standing in a banging. Yeah. Floyd was dropping people. Mm-hmm. And then he realized that, you know what? The, 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 the undefeated mm-hmm. meant a little bit more to him. And he mm-hmm. said, you know what? Mm-hmm. I can win fights. Not put myself at Something risk, dang, yeah. And still win, right? Well, I'm gonna do that, and because people play, I believe more people. I I enjoyed Floyd fighting because right. I understood I what he was doing, right? But I think more people tuned in to see him beat lose lose than it was to actually see him to win. Watch him. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. He was such a craftsmanship. He was so sharp. He was so skilled, his um, defensively and offensively, to the point where people were like, you know what? I'm sick of this. And then obviously especially when he turned Money May. When he turned Money May, everybody's tuning in to see him lose. And I think Shakur is on that same path to they're getting to a point where they're frustrated and not understanding the skill that's behind what he's been able to do or what he's done to this point in his career. And he will get to the same point as well where now people are going to be tuning in to see him lose. And tonight was a huge test. It was a huge test from him uh, against Edwin De De Los Santos. And he came out. He came out on top. A very dangerous fight. If you did watch it, it was a very dangerous fight for him, and he was able to he was able to, to fare off well. Well, I'm glad he won the fight um, yeah. and move on to bigger, bigger paydays. Let's oh, jump yeah. into the Ravens. The Ravens win this ball game, 34-20. Joe Burrow left the game in the second quarter with a, with, with a right wrist injury, replaced by Drake Browning. 
Lamar, mm-hmm. 16 to 26, 264, two mm-hmm. touchdowns. Odell Beckham had his first 100 yard receiving game mm-hmm. since the uh, divisional round of 2021 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. John Harbaugh said after the game, mm-hmm. Mark Andrews is probably lost to a season ending ankle injury. Unfortunately. What did you tell, uh, for the little bit of the game that you got an mm-hmm. opportunity to see early? What right. were some of the things that you took away from the game? Listen, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, especially in the, in the, the first half. The first half was really good. I thought we had a, a, a chance to win offensively. We were decent. The tight ends were playing so well and being acclimated into the offense. I felt that was going to open up everyone else. It was it was going to open up the run game. It was open up Chase and Boyd being able to eat later on later on in the, in the game. And then Joe goes out. Joe goes out, and I'm like, oh, no, what's happening? Browning comes in and tries to do what he can do, but – the Ravens were too much. The Ravens were too much. Um, Mark Andrews went out. And that was unfortunate. I hate seeing players get hurt. I like both teams to be at full strength so we can get a, an attestment to where we are on both sides of the ball, on both teams. And Lamar Jackson had a had a good game. Obviously, you know, as you said, 16 for 26, 264, two TDs. Odell, first first 100-yard game. And I'm, I'm glad to see him getting back on track and getting in the end zone. Uh, other than that, Jamar, I'm sure Jamar is frustrated especially with Joe going out. I'm not sure what the extent of his injury is, what the extent of the wrist injury is. Jamar only two two catches, you know, for 12 yards and the TD, but he, he, he's going to be he's going to be frustrated. So I'm sure they got to go back to the drawing board. And again, we're behind, we're way behind the eight ball now. I'm not sure if it's, yeah. if it's time to hit the panic button or not. But listen, hats off to the Ravens, hats off, hats off to Lamar Jackson and, and, what, and what that team has been able to do, especially defensively. Well, it's going to be tough because now you've lost three division games. Mm. You've lost to the Ravens twice. You've lost to the Browns. I think you've lost to the Browns. So yeah. you've lost three division games. Yeah. You've lost four AFC games because you mm. lost to the Texans just last week. Right. And so we got the Steelers you, coming up. And you still got the Steelers. And I think you got another game against the Browns. Right. And you don't know the extent. Uh, you do get an extended period of time with Joe Burrow with a uh, wrist injury because they don't play again now until the following Sunday. Oh, right. Um, and so you do get some time with that, and we can see how that how that progresses. Right. But you you're up against it right now. You you yeah. got to You dug yourself a hole, mm-hmm. and I know. Well, I ain't worried about this because remember what I told you, Ocho. I said yes, sir. There are not very many guys that limp into the season. Mm-hmm. If you limp in it, you limp out. Not guys yes, don't sir. get health. You don't get healthy during the season mm-hmm. because it's such a grind. Right. I mean, you play on Sundays and you're right back on the field mm-hmm. on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And how do you how do you rest is how you heal an injury? Oh, yeah. Well, you don't get that in, right. in the end of it. And especially mm-hmm. if you're quarterback, because you spend so much time mentally preparing, right, which is taxing on the body, is stressing mm-hmm. the central nervous system, yeah. studying film at home, studying mm-hmm. film at work, going through practice, trying to take all those mental n- reps even if you're not practicing. Yeah. So they, the, your, your Bengals are up against it. They they got, they got a tough road to sled if they yeah. try and plan on getting back into playoff contention. Yeah. Five and I five think, at, at 10 game, at 10 game at the, uh, yeah. basically a little over the midway point. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. I think for us, uh, for me, I'm going to be optimistic and hoping Joe Burrow's wrist injury is something that, that can heal in, in a short amount of time. Other than that, if he can heal and Browning has to take over at the helm, I think this is a season where we kind of shut Joe down and allow us to prepare for next season so Joe can go into next season, you know, all the way healthy and not continue to uh, get an unnecessary injury at this point, especially if we don't have a chance to get in the playoffs based on the results once we play the Steelers next week, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let, let's look at it from the Ravens standpoint. They they were, Lamar was sensational. The thing that yeah. I loved about Lamar, not mm-hmm. only was he crisp throwing the ball, I like mm-hmm. when he took off and he got down. He didn't mm-hmm. take any nece- unnecessary punishment. Right. Get, yeah. And that's the thing, that's the progression. Mm-hmm. That you like to see a quarterback that uses his legs early mm-hmm. because he's so athletic. But yeah. as you start to mature, as you start to develop into the mm-hmm. quarterback that you want him to come, you don't right. take those unnecessary shots. You get mm-hmm. down instead of getting a first down. Okay, it's going to be second and two mm-hmm. because if I get a first down, I got to take an unnecessary shot, Ocho, and yeah. that's wear and tear. That's pounding on my right. body. Let mm-hmm. it be second and two. I'm on the ground. I live to see another day. I mm-hmm. thought he was extremely sharp. I yep. thought the guys did a great job of catching the ball tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aguilar had a, had a, a deflection that it went that for a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. I like Zay Flowers, as you mentioned, Odell. Mm-hmm. What yep. he have three, four catches for over hundred mm-hmm. yards. He was sensational tonight. Yeah. The only thing that put a little damper on it is that they lose. They possibly lost Mark Andrews, Mark Andrews. for the entirety of the season. Yep. The defense again got after him. Five another five sacks. They lead the NFL in sacks. Uh, I, uh um, after the game, they were talking about. I think it was uh, Raekwon was talking mm-hmm. about, you know, they had a little letdown at the end because 
14 looks better than 20. And mm-hmm. they let him get a little late touchdown. And I'm sure right. uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the defense isn't happy mm-hmm. about that. But overall, the totality mm-hmm. of the ball game, mm-hmm. you have to feel good about where they are. Because, you know, if it's a close game, right. they got the best kicker, arguably the greatest kicker to ever kick. Mr. Justin Tucker. And Tucker. I- Outside of me, yes, they do. Yes, they do. And <laughs> so, the funny thing, I, 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 oh, my, my, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I re, re, I reiterated this before, and I've said it, you know, probably after the third or fourth week of the season, that defense in Baltimore is phenomenal. It's always been their identity. And the fact that we're in a pass-happy era and the identity is still the defense in an era like this and the offense is being efficient. And the key thing for Lamar Jackson is he had a great game. He had a phenomenal game. He was sharp with the ball. He didn't run when he didn't need to. He ran when he had to. Yes. He ran when he had to. And the key for him, zero interceptions. Protecting zero the football. Inter- protecting the football. Zero interceptions. So he That's had a great key. game. That, that, was, that, was a, that was a good thing to see. The fact that it was against my Bengals. It hurts my feelings. It hurts my feelings. I, I'm just I'm just hoping Joe has a speedy recovery so we can go into the rest of the season and hope, like Cedric the Entertainer, Cedric the Entertainer said, and Kings of Comedy. Let's hope, you know, we can something be, go well. Yeah, something go well, and we can, we can sneak it. I think if we're able to sneak in the playoffs, I think we we gonna have a good chance. It's, you know, we still we at the midway point, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think the thing, the biggest thing for Lamar, because he can beat you so many different ways. He can beat mm. you with his arm. He can beat you with his leg. The mm. only thing that that's concerning and that's been his kind of a uh, hiccup is the mm. turnovers. Yeah, be it throw the interception or the fumbles. If mm. he can hold on to the ball, because right. like I said, when you are a better team, and for the most part, the Ravens are going to go into the game as the better team. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're the better team and you turn the ball over, you either come down to their level or you bring right. them up to your level. Right. But one of the two things happen, and now you're playing on a level field. Mm-hmm. The whole point about having a better team is to go out there and dominate the, t- and dominate dominate. the game. Yeah. And but all three phases, turn, yeah. When you turn it over, you take possessions away from yourself and you create short fields for the opposing team. And so mm-hmm. if he can minimize those, I mean, obviously it's asking, it's unrealistic to ask him to turn. Mm-hmm. Well, he's not going to turn the ball over anymore this year. We know that's right. not going to happen. That's just unrealistic. But he can't have those two, three turnover games, Ocho. Right. And if he right. can avoid those, the Ravens, look, this thing is wide open. This is wide open as it's been in a while because when you mm-hmm. look at it, there is no, oh man, pencil that team in. There is no team like that this year. Right. Yeah, you're right. I mean, even even though their record shows it, their record shows it. And I think, you know, with minimal, minimal mistakes offensively, they have the defense. One of the few teams in the NFL that can overcome those mistakes offensively as far as the turn- turnovers are concerned. But once you get later on in the season, especially yeah, when you get the playoff, the playoff time, it, it, you, you ain't going to be able to do it because you're going to be facing other offenses that are just as efficient and just as dangerous as you and can hit the head off the having players that can hit the head off the goalpost from anywhere on the feel so you got to minimize that stuff and if you're gonna make those mistakes let's make them now and get it out the way yep uh gronk thinks mac jones should ask for a release from the patriots this is what gronk said he's not respected mm-hmm. in new england coach belichick has played all these games with him bailey zappi mm-hmm. even even close to being mac on mac jones level you should never mm-hmm. sit mac jones he's not respected there i think mac should, mac should mac jones should go ask for a re- for his release if you're talking mm-hmm. talking to me what he should do ask for his release and then if it gets granted, he should go sign with the Cleveland Browns and start a new career right there. They need a new quarterback. Imagine that. How would how would uh, that be? It's look. I always listen to mm-hmm. players that had very good to great careers, and Gronk had a mm-hmm. great career in New England. Very, yes, I sir. always listen to what they have to say about mm-hmm. their former team. Right. I believe everything that he says. I believe Coach. I I believe. Right. That he believes that Coach Belichick has disrespected mm-hmm. him. He believe and he knows firsthand that right. Coach Belichick likes to play these games. Mm-hmm. Gronk wasn't a guy that liked to play these games. Right. So that's why Gronk, like, okay, y'all try to trade me. I'm a retire. Right. But I'm not coming back to play for you either. Right. So you don't have no choice but to release me or mm-hmm. trade me to Tampa. Right. Gronk, Gronk was one of the few guys that Coach Belichick really wasn't able to rein in because no, 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 Gronk, no, 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 no. Gronk was Gronk. Mm-hmm. You knew exactly what he was getting. You know, the mm-hmm. Patriot way and everybody was like Gattaca. Everybody mm-hmm. said the same thing. Right. Gronk was fun-loving. Gronk, mm-hmm. used to, he was one of the few guys that was in New England that you right. got an opportunity, uh, opportunity to see his personality right. while he was in New England. Mm-hmm. You didn't have to wait till he got on television and said, well, I wonder how he was going to be. You mm-hmm. knew how Gronk was going to be right. because you saw him 
or in the entirety right. in New England. His career, what do you yeah. think about that? Well, what I you- think I think you know Gronk is one of the few players who was very authentic and organic and was able to stay true to himself because of the team he was on. Obviously, having Tom as your quarterback and him being your safety valve, and you always producing at a high level week in and week out, year in and year out, you can be yourself. You can do that. Now, as far as what Gronk is saying about about Belichick disrespecting Mac Jones, the key things, one of the things that you always talk about, that we all talk about, and that you do know is when you run a team and you're the quarterback of the team, in order to win games, especially if you don't have the talent around you, you have to minimize turnovers. Turnovers. You don't have the, the team is not structured. The team is not built for that team to play from behind and win games that way. So continuously turning the ball over, turning the ball over. And that's something even when I was there that Belichick harped on. He harped on it and harped on it. That is why Tom was so, so hell bent and so upset when he did turn the ball over, even though they were able to overcome turnovers based on the team that they had. The way the struck the way the Patriots are structured offensively, they can't do it, especially with Mac Jones at the helm and having to turn the ball over and then put the ball in his hands and say, okay, we're gonna leave it in your hands to get us out of this trouble. Yeah, they they know they he, they're not built like that. So I think in a in a sense, Mac Jones put Goddamn Belichick's back against the wall, not having a choice but to bench him. Not how you didn't have a choice because he's doing the one the one thing you can't do to give us a chance. For us to have a chance, you can't turn the goddamn ball over. I agree with you, but you can't do what he did to him. And it started right. last year because yeah. Be- yeah, Coach Belichick was so arrogant. He mm-hmm. was so, I can do this, my way will work, mm-hmm. that he hired people that was unqualified for the position that they were in. Right. Matt Patricia had never called an offensive play. He had mm-hmm. really never been on that side of the football. The same thing for Joe Judge. Mm-hmm. And you make them co-offensive coordinators. Mm-hmm. Well, we saw the we saw the year that Matt Jones had as a rookie under mm-hmm. Josh McDaniel. And right. then we saw him take a, 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 a serious dip in mm-hmm. play. And I also think he took a serious dip in progression and in, in, mm-hmm. in, in confidence. Excuse me. In right. confidence. Yeah. And so getting now get bench to do that to you now. He got bench Ooh. last year. That to do that and to you. Come out, to you. And now, what, nine, ten games into the season, mm-hmm. you've gotten benched three times. Mm-hmm. It's t- it, You know what, Ocho, it's just time for a change. Sometimes, and that's okay, it's time for a change of right. scenery. Me Wait, and old lady. Change of scenery for who? Belichick or oh, I, Mac Jones? I, 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 both. One of them needs to go for sure. Right. But I don't know what Mr. Kraft is holding on with Coach Belichick. He ain't winning anything anytime soon. Well, I think if. Well, obviously, you're going to have to get a quarterback. You're going to have to get a quarterback. Things aren't going to change in that organization until you find a quarterback that's efficient, that can't turn the ball over. Are you going to find a diamond in the rough this year, similar to C.J. Stroud? Are, is that possible? I mean, at, at, at the rate they're going, the only way, the only answer for them offensively is finding a quarterback that's efficient and not going to turn the ball over. But here's what you got to understand, Ocho. Look at the receivers with the exception of Randy Moss. Mm-hmm. Look at the receivers, how they were before mm-hmm. they got to New England and the mm-hmm. receivers that once they left New England. Mm-hmm. Now, you tell me the receiver outside of Randy Moss Gron- mm-hmm. and, and Gronk, but we're mm-hmm. talking about all uh, 100 anniversary team players. Look right. at the receivers that where they were before mm-hmm. they got to New England and right. played with Tom, and then mm-hmm. once they left New England mm-hmm. after playing with Tom, how do they look? Well, it, yeah, it's different. It's different. I think for the slot receivers, the smaller receivers, those that played on the inside, I, I view the New England offense as an offense that's run from the inside out. It's yeah. run from the inside out. And I view other teams' offenses as far as like, you know, your Atlanta's when Julio was there or, or just, just other teams, the number ones, it's run from the outside in. You mm-hmm. know, when the New England's offense, it looked like to me, the number one was Gronk. And then number two yeah. was Edelman. And then you work your way to the outside if, if it's clogged up, you know, in, in the middle. And I think they fared very well in that offense because of the way it was run, that system in general. And as far as outside receivers are concerned, Randy Moss is special. Yeah, special. That, 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 so that's you, why I excluded him. That's yeah, why I yeah. excluded Gronk. I yeah, he, 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 he they're going to be good at any system anywhere. Exactly. So he was special. So when you take those receivers that flourish in that inside, that run from the inside out offense and put them on other teams, where it's the other way where you got the you got to get it off the muscle. You got to get off the muscle. Here are the X and the O's. There's a guy going to be in front of you. You got to get you. You got to go. You got to work. You got to win your one on one matchup. Sometimes you're really not built like that. But the system in New England, it's it kind of I don't want to say it, 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 it kind of opens you up because of they did so many different things and there was so much talent around there offensively. All you got to do is win. 
All you got to do is win. And when you go, when you go, when you outside of that New England offense, hey, it's a different ball game. It's a different ball right. game. Yeah. Uh, I just think the thing is, yeah, I mean, after you don't bench me, look, there's only so many times I'm going to sleep on the couch before I realize me and my old lady need to split. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't put, you know what, you don't put me out the house four or five times, Ocho. <laughs> right. You don't right, make me right. sleep on the couch four or five right. times. At mm -hmm. what point in time do I come to the realization, you know mm -hmm. what, we're not right for each other? I have one more question, though. Huh? You got to think yes. about this. You have to be careful. Now, when you think about leaving and asking for a release from the New England Patriots, the prestigious mm -hmm. New England Patriots, mm -hmm. six, su six Super Bowl championship New England Patriots, playing for one of the maybe the most one of the most decorated coaches of all time. And if you couldn't get it done there, how do you think the other 31 teams are going to view Mac Jones? Because think I about don't that. think I because I think the majority of the people believe that system, that New England was Tom Brady. Right. I don't think, I don't think coach Belichick, he's a great X and O. He's a great strategist. There's mm -hmm. no denying that. But right. I bet if you ask the pe the, the front office pe people and the other coaches, yes, sir. I guarantee and you put them on truth serum. I mm -hmm. guarantee you, they believe the most, the person most responsible for the success in New England, Mm -hmm. It's Tom Brady. So you don't think it's more of a two-headed monster? You got two people that came together that just ex worked extremely well. You had a brilliant mind in Bill Belichick and what he was able to do defensively. Yes. And the fact that you had a brilliant mind in Tom Brady who was able to orchestrate an offense without making very minimal errors and being able to overcome mistakes or stuff like that. I think it, it was a relationship that just meshed well. Is it really it all did. Tom? No, no, it's it, it's not either. Oh, I, it's not all. There's no such thing as all or every. Right. But right, I right. just I saw Tom Brady leave and take a team that had not been to the playoffs in a very long time mm -hmm. and go to the playoff three consecutive years and yes, win sir. the Super Bowl. Right. I see Coach Belichick get blown out. The team didn't even punt in the playoff game. Buffalo did not punt in right. the entirety of the game. So mm -hmm. I see a team lose the first round and they don't force the team to punt. To right. how do they look last year? To how do they look this year? Okay. So I think that's one of the things, that's one of the reasons why Tom Brady gets so much credit because mm -hmm. we see how it looks without him. Right. Okay. I got, I got you. I got you. I got you. So, but we'll see. Uh, James Harden. James Harden said he's not in James Harden said. It's shape. He mm -hmm. says, I keep reiterating, I don't have, I, I didn't have training camp or preseason. So I'm mm -hmm. kind of learning on the fly for mm -hmm. a new team. Also getting myself, myself into James Harden shape and game shape is very important. Well, who thought did you not in shape? Wait, you, you know what's you funny? That, that's Go great. I'm, I'm glad you said that. And you have a better knowledge of the game of basketball and how players approach the game. This is not my first time hearing that. This is not my first time hearing players get themselves into shape by actually playing. So is it is this so so I don't sound ridiculous? Is this not something new? Or I mean, is this not something that a lot of Kevin, players do? Or, or am I, I, I tripping? Be, I based want you on to the tell sport. Me. Based on the sport, yeah. I'm saying based tell, on basketball. Tell, tell, tell me the champion. Mm -hmm. that waits till the season to get in shape. Right. You think Jordan did that? You think mm -hmm. Kobe did that? You think LeBron did that? You think mm -hmm. D-Wade? You think Bird? You think Ma you think of the great players that's won right. championships. Right. You tell me they wait to – so did he not, was he not going to play basketball this year? Right. So but what was know, he waiting on? Wait, one of the things that all basketball players do, and I'm sure including James Hard, is they play throughout the entirety of the season. They take a small break, but they, they play pickup games. They play little games like that. And I think maybe he did train throughout the off, throughout the offseason, but I think he's not in physical peak James Harden shape as in elite James Harden that we're used to seeing, 28, 11, and 5 James Harden. But he's still a decent James Harden, but not where he needs to be to be efficient for the Clippers just yet. But again, whose fault is that? Right. Your Ocho, they're paying you 30, 40, 50, 60 million dollars. And you I've got to wait till you get to camp. The right. objective, you're supposed to come to camp in shape. Are you so ready? what right. were you what were you doing off season? Okay, I get it. You upset at Daryl Morey. Mm -hmm. He lied to you. I'm gonna take let's just take James Harden at his word. Right. Daryl Morey lied. Mm -hmm. He did. What does that? Did. What does that have to do with you being in shape? What right. does that? Not, what does that have to do with you not handling and taking care of your business? Right. Just right, because that, someone is doing something over there, Ocho, right. that don't mean I can't be doing something over here. Right. I'm going to show because here's the thing: mm -hmm. whether I get traded or not, right, I'm going to be in shape. Right. Okay. That's what okay. they're right. I, I I see what you're saying. I just think the fact that obviously missing time of not pre yet preseason and training camp with the Sixers. Yeah, but I think he was training. I think he was working out. But this is why, why think, about, think, think about this. Let, 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 me, let me let me tell you this. Think about how much you can practice, right? 
Yeah. I got I got prepared for every every training camp. I worked my, my my tail off. I worked crazy, but there was something about getting to training camp, and it was nothing. All the work I put in, it was still can't emulate what it's like when you're all together in one. Nothing. We practice before a game, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You do all that practicing, but when it's game time, when it's time to go, it's still different. I think game time and training on your own to prepare for the season is completely different. I think we're kind of, to me, taking a little bit out of context of what James is actually saying. I need to play myself in the game shape. And the playing shape is not doesn't mean I'm not in shape to play basketball. It's just the fact it's going to take me some games to get where I need to be to be more efficient for the Clippers in general. I think that's what he means. Imagine if imagine if you had not done anything in the offseason and showed up mm-hmm. to training camp. How how difficult would it have been? Right. Ah, but he didn't because the co- uh Mr. Mr. He Murray said he lied didn't have a him. training camp. He didn't have no Mr. training yeah, camp. Mr. 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 Mallory lied to him though. I uh, he he didn't have a training camp, but he was training. Now that we not I mean I, I know James. I, I I know James personally. Now I don't I don't know much about basketball, but I do know young young bull be working now. He be working because you can't do what you've done throughout the entirety of your career. You know, minus, you know, playoffs and all championships. I understand that he hadn't done that, but he has to prepare himself in a certain way to even do what he's done throughout his career. You don't just wake up and just go out there and do what he's done 28 and whatever it may be. I don't know the numbers behind it, but I understand exactly what he means. I understand. I understand what he means, though. So you OK with so you OK with a player I, not coming in shape? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm not OK with it. I'm just saying he didn't have the resources, the ability to train with the team in its entirety. In yes, its full capa- Listen to me. In its full capacity, you know, everybody and being able to be up to speed with them, uh, obviously getting traded somewhat late and now being integrated in there and having to play himself back in the, in, in the shape. I, I understand what he mean. Ocho. But what's going to happen when he is in shape, though? What, you know what you're going to get now. Ocho. You know what you're going to get, huh? You do realize he could have went to training camp. You realize he, that could have happened. Now he could have done we, that. We, we have to understand the circumstances and why he didn't What's show up What's the circumstances? Camp. You got, we, we got to understand the circumstances. He just got traded. But it's been, what, two weeks? Three weeks? Ocho. If that? See? Ocho. So you want, him to, you want him to show up to training camp in Philly? Why not? They had $38 million for him. You know why he didn't show up. You know why. You know, I don't I don't want to get I don't want to get into logistics on why he didn't, but you know why. Like, How would you feel? How who who was your who was your GM when you was there? When when you was playing in Denver? Oh man. Who was your GM? Uh I just think give me, we just had, give me one name. I, I think Lyde Huggins. You don't know you will know any of Lyde okay. Huggins. I think John Well, B. we we're we gonna say John B. You yes. talk to John B. You go play for Denver and you take less money. From my understanding. You take I ain't less taking money less money. In, wait, okay. Oh, stay with me now. You take less money and you go to goddamn Denver because John Beek say, you know what? The fact that you're taking less money, thank you. I appreciate you. You know, when the all season comes, I'm gonna make sure you I'm gonna make sure I take care of you on a long term deal. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you a goddamn supermax. Just 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 bear with me this season. All season come, you calling John Beek and John Beek don't answer the goddamn phone. And you telling me James should have motherfucking showed up to goddamn training camp. What I always tell you, a lot don't care who tell it. Why would you, why would a millionaire give mm. a billionaire a tax break? Mm. But he did loyalty, right? Ain't they what team? I, what what so happened? When the, it's a team when game. Has the team, when has the team ever been loyal to a player? James Harden. Ah, ah. Hey, hold on. When has double James Harden double, double, double edged sword? When, did, when has James Harden ever been loyal? Do you know what Tillman Fertitta did for him at right. Houston? Was he yeah. loyal to Tillman Fertitta? No. What about Brooklyn? That gave mm-hmm. up all those assets to get him. See, you mm-hmm. making it seem like loyalty is a one-way street that the team should be loyal to the player. Mm-hmm. But when has James Harden been loyal to any team that he's played for? Well, listen, I'm on the outside looking in. I'm not no, sure. No, you, what... you, you, you exactly. You got a great view. So put right. your hands up to the window and look. You you got a great view. You got a great yeah. view. But you listen, look at just like we I don't am. we we don't we don't know we don't know the turmoil the turmoil or the things that were going on inside that we don't know about. We're just getting the back end story on the reasons why he wasn't it things didn't work out where he was. But I think now he's in a good place. He's in LA. He's gonna be okay. He's gonna play his way back into shape. And Clippers fans, you know, I don't know. I know I don't know much about basketball. Well, when a player says I'm gotta play myself back into shape, and you know what you get from that player when he is in shape, I ain't worried about nothing because I know what I'm gonna get. We got like we got an 82 game season, right? It's 82 games. Yes. What 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 what's uh what's the Clippers? 0 and five. 0 and five since he got arrived there. 
Oh, we got. Don't don't put that on him. Don't put that on him. It ain't 0 No, I'm just saying. No, I'm just, okay. I'm just saying. They're I, I, I just, they. Yeah. I said they are right. 0 and five. I right. I, I, I said I, they. I, I've seen. I've seen all the clips and saying, oh, they're 0 and five since. Yes, they, like they are. But anyway, but I guarantee you, were they, they 0 and five before they, you got there? No. Okay. Oh, so I'm not saying. Put, okay. No, like, I'm, like, not, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that is his fault. But I'm saying we have to look at it because he was, and like you said. It could turn around. Oh, it's always oh, going to turn around. You know that. But, Paul George, but, Kawhi, Westbrook, Jane. Come on now. You know. You know what's going to happen. You know. You know. There. This is basketball. This is not pool. Oh yeah. So you you, you only got one ball. You know pool. Oh, you yeah. got what? How many balls you got? Uh, eight. You played eight ball, or you play instead, or you play a billion. Oh, I play. I play eight ball. You play yeah. eight ball. There's fifteen balls, ain't it? Nah, it's eight balls. Oh lord. What? what we play eight ball i mean nine ball is with nine balls eight balls we right. normally play standard pool you okay. play a standard pool right yes sir <laughs> okay okay oh, uh so, you count you count the cue ball no i can't no it is a ball though but yeah i don't okay. count it right it's nine. it's nine you're right my bad my bad it's yeah. been a long How time been, in, I... stand, in, in standard billiards instead it's called billiards Wait. we call it pool Pool, but, right. but I, I just instead, call it pool. I thought it was nine balls. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, that's right. I'm tripping. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about what I used to play. Um, when I was in Hawaii, when I was in LA. My bad. My bad. We had a little mini, a small pool table. You right. There is a game called nine ball. Yeah. I think that's what but, I used to play right there. Nine ball. But, when and I was people in used to play. People used to play not play. It's five and nine. Those were the money balls. Okay. You didn't okay. gamble like that, so right. I know you don't really. No, but no. people at home that's listening understand right. they understand the game. But standard okay. with standard billiards, it's mm -hmm. 15 balls. But anyway, okay. okay, check this out. Did you see the video of the man in, in Thailand? Mm -hmm. A python came into his house. Yeah. They had a cat in the cage. The python went in the cage, grabbed the cat. The cat was screaming. The man came out. The python looked to be somewhere between 12 and 14 feet. Whoa, 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 he whoa, got whoa, the whoa. python with his bare hands. Give me my, give me my cat back. You have, listen, you just you see what, what you see what you a man just, do for cat. You, you see what a man will do for cat. Time out, slow down. Oh, my bad, my bad. This, this sound, this sound stays to me. You said a 12, 14 foot python, right? Yeah. Do you understand what happens when a python of that size wraps around anything? Once it wraps yeah. around anything, yeah. ain't no getting that loose. Ain't no getting that loose. You we'll gotta see the, chop the, the head off, man. Wait. We'll see, no, what happened? Uh, no, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen guys, uh, seen people un uncurl them of uh, uh, baby gazelles and things like that. You can unfurl them because, Real? yeah. But once but, they squeeze, it's a wrap. Yeah, but he he wasn't able to constrict. He he okay. grabbed it because right. he couldn't get it, his whole body through the through uh through the cage. Oh, okay. But okay. he had to, he had right, it, right. And eventually. He to drug him out of the cage and did the right. damage. This must have been but, a little kitten, huh? A little kitten? No, it was a big cat. It was a big. It was oh, oh, he was screaming. But I'm just going. That just goes to show you. Yeah. Remember, we had the conversation earlier. Right. What right. would you do to save your pet? Oh, anything. It instincts uh, kick in. Instincts. Uh, Same thing with kids. Same with your child. You don't think twice when anything that you care about is in danger. May you do anything. Adrenaline. Oh yeah. That oh, man. Yeah. And you look. at Ocho, I mean uh Taiwanese, I mean you obviously, I mean Thailand, so you obviously right. he probably looked like he was about 130, 140 pounds. Ooh, got it. He ooh. said he got him and then threw him in the bushes. <laughs> I wouldn't have threw him in the bushes, I'd have had to off with his head. Oh, you you kill him, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, Anything, that, you, yeah. Know, you know, you know, probably I guarantee that was somebody pet snake. That was probably somebody pet snake that got out. I guarantee pet, you. Nah, I don't think people got pet snakes in Thailand. They don't keep them no. like that, Ocho. You okay, know, like okay. like in, in Florida, South Florida, they yeah. got the Burmese everybody, python everybody, and yeah. the rock python. And, 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 when they get, and when they get too big in Miami, big, you know they, they throw do? them out. They throw them out and release them. And now you got no natural predators in the Everglades. Right. And so uh -uh. now they... Yeah. yeah. Okay. I got but that was, I, I, was looking, I was looking at that. I said, I hope Ocho sees this and mm -hmm. to see what somebody would actually do. Do. Patrick Woolley. Patrick Woolley? Wooly donated ten dollars. He wants to test me on breed knowledge. Hey, um, what do you think of the Rhodesian Ridgeback? Well, it's a dog that originated in Africa. I like. He has Rhodesian. a ridge, a red, he's back. red, but he ha yeah. yeah, he has a, a ridge right down. The I had a, a friend in 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 middle school and high mm -hmm. school 
named Christy, Christy G. If you're watching this, she had a Rhodesian, a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Uh, I've never owned one. I have mm -hmm. seen them up close. Uh, so I really couldn't tell you much about them, mm -hmm. but I do know a uh, little, little bit, little bit about mm. them. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, OG. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rapper DDG asked his Twitter, Twitter followers, would you rather DDG. have a billion? Would you rather have a billion dollars or live forever? Right. Ooh, that's a good one. That's, ain't but one that's a good one. It ain't but one answer. What you mean it ain't but what answer? Name the dead man to spend a dollar, let alone a billion. So what's what's your live what's, what you mean? Would I rather have a billion dollars to live forever? What you what you want to do? Let me hear you. What's your answer first? What's your, what you what I you, what you want to do? I will take the billion to live forever. <laughs> no, buy, you can't I'm do that. Buy, I will buy all kind you of can't. stuff to keep me young. <laughs> No, 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 you know no, no. They ain't gonna work. Think about it. Think, think about all the billionaires that have been alive that have, that have that have that have had the resources to to have access could, to anything that can stay, keep you around forever. Don't do that. That, that want, ain't happening. I don't want no billion. I don't want no billion. I will be too unruly. I would die. Nah, you know what, Ojo? I will be too unruly. And then a little bit of money you I got. Really nah, I act a fool. Yeah, hey, yeah, I act a fool with them. Yeah, the little, the little. Can you imagine what a billion? A bit, yeah, hey, a bit. A, you know, you know how much money you got to have to even get to a billion. Yes, think about that. A billion, man, that's crazy. Just, just the thought of it, and the, the fact that we have billionaires in this world that can change so much. But so, what and, you taking? You taking the billion, about, or you living forever? I'm living forever. I'm living forever. I'm living forever with the little bit of money I got now. Now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm a be okay. Give me the, I'm gonna be give okay. Me, give me the bill. Give me the bill. You gonna, you gonna take a billion for real? Yeah. Think about think about this. Let me let me ask you something. Think about it. Just just be honest oh, with yourself. Oh, Joe, you gonna be what all can, decrepit. What, what can you do? What what you what can you do right now? If mm -hmm. you had a billion dollars that you can't do with the money you got right now, think about it. Come on, man. I can fly. Think about it. Huh? All the time. I can fly private all the time. But you listen, you already flying private anyway. And you that ain't got a billion of, dollars. That there, a little bit of time nothing. I'll be flying private, that ain't nothing. But again, think about think it just real quick for, for me. Think about the money you got yeah. now, the money you've earned, the money that you are earning right now. What is there in this world that you can't do? You can do everything you want to right now. Yeah. In moderate, you can do everything you want to right now in moderation. You know that you can you know do what? with a billion dollars. No, because here's the thing, Ocho. I basically secured one and a half generations. I'm trying to get mm -hmm. more, four generations. So right. I want to start, I want to, I got my kids and have my grandkids. Mm -hmm. So now yeah. I want to get their kids and their kids mm -hmm. situated. So Ooh. now all of a sudden the sharp, we got a head. Cause I, my, my kids got a head start. They was on third right. base, but they know they didn't hit the ball. Mm -hmm. They were born there. Right. So right, now right. I'm trying to get my grandkids and the great grandkids mm -hmm. and the three mm -hmm. great on third base also. The kids mm -hmm. will be home. So that's what I would do. That's I like what that. I would do. I like that. That's what I would do. I like that. But I, you know, but I, but that, I, would, that, I would go ahead. No, that would take an, an extraordinary vision. It would take an extraordinary vision, discipline, and extreme execution and not seeing nothing to get to that point. You can't see nothing but the end goal to get to that point. But see, I got a great start because I already got a billion. Because remember, I ain't got to yeah. work for it. I, I somebody gonna give me that. Oh, oh, hyper, oh okay. <laughs> I like, I like where you're going with that. I like, I like where you're going with that. But you know, when you, when you, when you think about billionaires, you know, and I, and I, and I hate to say this, yeah. when you think about billionaires and to reach that type of extreme wealth, you got to step on a lot of people, man, to get there. Yeah, you got to step on. You got to step on a lot of people. You can't. Mm -hmm. I, you see how I am, oh, happy-go-lucky, giving out nah. here, paying mm -mm. here, that ain't gonna happen. dollars you're to never, there, you're not gonna reach it. Oh, I, I, I never get there, ever. Yeah. But you got to yeah. step, you got to be nasty, but you got to step on a lot of people to reach that type of extreme wealth. We're, we're and you got to do your... something you ain't got no business doing. You got to do something you ain't got no business doing to get you one huge lump sum and build from there like you really worked hard. Child, yeah, I'm not, I, I, I think now in today's time, I mean, you look at, you look at, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Michael, you look at Magic, you look at Tiger. Mm. If you got a talent, yeah. yeah, you can parlay that talent. You can do something, mm -hmm. make money mm -hmm. in your chosen sport, and then people right. 
will want to do business with you. You see, mm -hmm. Magic mm -hmm. parlayed those championships in L.A., and then people wanted to do mm -hmm. business with him. But with, he was yeah. determined to not just let mm -hmm. Magic Johnson live on Magic Johnson's name. Johnson he rolled up right. his sleeve and he got into, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Starbucks. He got into mm -hmm. the uh, the movie theaters. Movie he theaters. got into the yeah, he got into the yeah. construction aspect mm -hmm. of it. And you see what it turned out. Right. So, right. yeah, you, you could. I think now it's a lot easier because mm -hmm. you got guys now that's going to make five, six, seven hundred million just mm -hmm. on contracts alone. Yeah. So you're three quarters of the way there already there. Yeah. Yeah. Make a few smart decisions. And guess what? When you have money, Ocho, mm. you know this, yeah. people are wanting to, now you get an opportunity to rub elbows mm -hmm. with people that got more money than you, money you. that's smarter than you, you that yeah. give you give you Mason. tools and information. And what to do with your money. Oh, yeah. And now all of a sudden, $5 become $25, 25 yeah. become 100 100 yeah. become 1000 1000 become 25 Yeah. And, and, and the and next it, day, you know like and you know what? One of the things that you have to have, too, when it comes to building wealth of that magnitude, patience. Patience. You got to be patient. This ain't nothing overnight. This is five year, 10 no. year. 15 because if you look at it now, Ocho, if you're looking to get something overnight, you got to uh -uh. take too big of a risk. Mm -mm. And the chances are it ain't even real. No, nah, no. Nah. Chances are it ain't even real. Ocho, this question for you. Yeah, Eric Holmes donated ten dollars, and he asked, appreciate that, hey, Ocho, Eric. He said, "Ocho, why do you make so many excuses for players?" I ain't make no excuse for nobody. I've never for James Harden tonight, Eric. Eric, I'm not making no excuses for James Harden. I'm just telling you what I know. Eric, you're not there. I've seen him. I've seen him training. I've seen him training all season. I've been in the gym with James, so I'm understanding where he's coming from. We're taking him saying, "I'm not in playing shape," totally out of context. For him to be as efficient and what we're used to seeing in James Harden is all I'm saying. That's all. I'm not making no excuses. But what I what I do have Ocho. is I have the information. Stay with me now. I have the information okay. based on what I know on what I see him do when there are no cameras around. That's all I can talk about. Now, if I didn't know and he's the people made the comment or he made the comment, so he lying. I'm not in James Harden shape. Then then I'd be like, well, damn, this nigga so James, James Harden. Shape. So James. So James Harden. Is just playing bad. He's in shape, right? No, 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 no. But he he's not it. in playing shape. You can. I just, I just, I just explained to you and gave you a great analogy, huh? I trained all my goddamn all season, but when I got in the season with the team in the training camp, it was still different, and I had to play myself into playing shape as well. All that training does nothing for you until you with a whole unit. That's all I'm. That's all I'm saying. That's Eric, all I'm saying. I agree with you. Seem like he making it. Hey, Eric, listen to me, Eric. I, I lie for you before I lie to you, baby. I, I've, I've seen him do it. So I'm just trying to get a little better context on what he was doing and what he meant. Some people might not listen to me. Some people will. But I'm just telling you what I know. Check this out. Do you like your toilet paper over or under? Uninterrupted posted a video of your Bengals having to decide. Right. A University of Colorado study said mm -hmm. it's more sanitary to hang the paper over as opposed to under. So are you an over, over or under guy? Over yeah. under. You know what? Over. I like I like it come I like pulling down. Is that is that what you mean? That's what you yeah. mean, right? That's over, yes. Yeah, I like I like I like mine over. I like mine over. And it's, and it's very important, just not any type of toilet tissue. I hope y'all at home, uh when you visit restaurants, there's a small, small, small story, not not really a story, but when you go to restaurants and you have to use the bathroom at restaurants, I don't know how many of you use the bathroom in public. I do. I don't care. One, number two, it don't matter. You but nasty. Listen, sit your rust ass on them. To oh, hell all, no. All you have to do is dress the toilet up. You don't use the bathroom I don't in care. public. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Listen, you don't know four four corners, four corners, toilet tissue, lay it down, one in the front. Then sit your ass down. You don't do that. They need. They normally. They normally. A lot of places have toilet seat covers, Ocho. You right, don't have to right. do that. You don't have to do that. Oh well, the places that go. I don't go to that fancy shit you be eating at. So I got the motherfucking cover my shit with toilet paper. And where I go, at least, and this. Is and how you, you bring know, your ass back in the restaurant to eat after you don't took a dump in the people restaurant. Yeah, you don't do that. Going to dinner with you. Why? Oh, you. Hey, you. You too, oh, my hell, you too no. Hollywood for me. I wash my hands. I wash my hands, and I got my sanitizer. What I do know, every right. pla public place they use mm -hmm. single ply toilet paper because see, they have to flip. 
Whoa, 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 stay. I, listen, listen to me. This is how you know if an establishment, this is how you know if an establishment cares about its customers. Because if you go to an establishment and they got one ply toilet paper, they don't care nothing about you. Because you know, one time you take that two ply, you take that two ply and you roll that motherfucker around and you go back there and you can wipe. If you wipe too goddamn hard, it's coming right through. You can have shit on your hand. I don't yeah. go nowhere. I don't go nowhere that, where they got no one ply. I don't that's do that. why. That's why I ain't going to eat with you. I, I, one I, I, ply, four ply. You could use paper towels, a towel. Nah, I ain't nah, going to eat. With listen, you. I go to establishments where they have two ply Charmin, two ply Charmin, soft, thick, Ocho. thick. So I, I, when I when I when I when I when I swipe, yeah, that bitch like a credit card. Mm 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 mm. So just like, hey, I'm what telling my doing? team, hey, if Ocho, Hollywood. if o, if Ocho invites y'all somewhere. Don't y'all go out to eat with that so, man? Wait a minute. So you really acting like that? So you don't use the public rest? They have public restroom for a reason. Now you acting like it's unsanitary to use the goddamn bathroom in public? Who, who, right. raised, who raised you? I can wait till I get home. How you gonna wait till you get home if you gotta use the bathroom, huh? Easy. If you Just gotta wait. pee, if you gotta pee, you oh, go pee. pee. Yeah. If you got if you if you got if you got a boo boo, go uh, boo boo. Mm -mm. That's what it's for. Y'all nasty. You nasty. Now, they ain't that first. No. First, you can't mm -hmm. have no woman that leave the door open. She got to go to the other room. Now you won't use the public restroom. What else, huh? You can't live like that, man. You you you're living, living like, like you li you living like you're in jail. You ain't in jail. You free, baby. I be, I know. That's why I can just come on home. I have. I've left the gym to come home to go to the bathroom. You left the gym just to go. Boy, do you understand if you release in that gym, how much better you'll feel when you go back to your weights? Huh? Once you get that I weight off feel, your I shoulder, feel better. No, I'm good. All right. Okay. What's wrong not, with you? I'm not gonna win. Man, Ain't go wrong with me. You go I'm, anywhere. That's what it's for. That's why it's called a public restroom. Yeah. Ain't no ain't no rules. Ain't no rules. They are and they, rules. I, and I guarantee you, everybody watching, I guarantee they agree with me. I guarantee Yeah, they probably do. That's fine. Yeah, I, oh, I sure. would hope so. I, I agree with you too. It's just not for me. And, just uh, like every, just, everything just I like say, that nutrition. Is ever for you. Just like that nutrition. You say McDonald's, right. you don't gotta do all that. I ain't gotta do all that. Right. And you told me what it, it got you that far, ain't it? Yeah, it worked for me. That's why. That's why I look like this. I will come up out this shirt, but I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna show it. I I, I see you got your little your, your little muscles out today. You see that? See you got your little muscle. Yeah. Man, okay. dog, dad. dog dad ever. I got you. I got you. Let me unzip this. So, so you know what? You tweeted today. You having a hard time putting eye drops. Hey, I don't understand do you... what's so hard about. It. Boy, listen. Let me take my shades off. I got my eye drops right here too, huh? Them little beady yeah. eyes. Yeah, I got I got Lumify. You know, I, I got I got Japanese. I got 10, I'm ten percent Japanese. That's why my eyes slanted like that. Bro, just because you ate a uh, uh, Benny Hanna's, you ain't Japanese. I ain't never ate no Benny Hanna's. Like, mate, listen, wait, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got a I, Japanese. Well, I got a cousin that's Korean, man. That he played play for Tottenham. I, I, that so ain't I, you. I just because you got a cousin. You told me to do my ancestry tree. I did my ancestry tree. Ask real, baby. Yeah, she right there. She'll tell you I did my ancestry tree and like I'm I'm five percent Korean and my cousin played for Tottenham. But anyway, listen, I got my own. Um, you ate at a Korean barbecue spot. I ain't never had no Korean barbecue, huh? I just wanted to do my homework and I want I wanted to see where I come from. I want to see who my descendants are. I know where you came from, Liberty City. Yeah, I did, but I'm saying I have a long line of of like come on, I don't Liberty don't, City too. Nah, but but <laughs> outside of Liberty City. Outside of Liberty City, uh, I just I just really wanted to know who I am and 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 where I come from, and it, it was dope to me. It was dope to find out. Uh, baby, you got the home. You got the uh, the results. She got the results right here. Five percent side. Five percent Korean. That's why my eyes look like this. Look, you see. But listen, I got my eye drops right. I got my Lumify. I got my Lumify okay. right here. I like to use it when uh right before I go on TV or anything. But every time I try to put my my uh, my eye open it, it go everywhere except the eye. You supposed to put it in the corner of your eye, Ocho. Some people I put mine, I put mine in the corner. Some Wait, people drop corner? it right. Some people drop it right on the middle of the eye. Some people I, hold it back. That's what I've been trying to do. Huh? I keep missing, man. What you talking about? Some people hold the eye open like this and squeeze it right on the eye. Yeah, but I can't. Because when I have something that close to me in my eye, I don't know if it's going in. And when I think it's going in, it drip everywhere else but in the eye. And then I'm wasting. You know how much this costs? I'm not buying another one, another one of these. And every time I do it, I miss every time. See what? Stay, stay with me now. Hold on. Real do it. Let real put it in. Baby, come in. Come, come do this real quick, baby. Baby, come in now. 
Come on, come on. You got to do my, do, I, I'm trying, he's trying, he talk, so do my arm. Come on, baby. Don't act like that. Yeah, do my lashes real quick now. Oh, don't fall. Come on, let's gonna do my lashes real quick. Hold on, hold on, stay, stay with me. Let me take my... Get out of sight. You see how simple that was? Yeah. Listen, you see how simple it is because I have somebody else doing it for me. Now, if if I'm if I'm if she's not here, I'm handicapped. I'm handicapped, huh? And I I've, I've been trying. I've been I've been practicing. Oh. Shit. My bad. I've been. Okay, my bad. I've been practicing. I've been practicing with my my daughter, with my daughter, my daughter sippy cup, with my daughter sippy cup. So I put what water. Sippy in cup got to do something there. Because I can't waste this. I can't waste this. So I use my daughter sippy cup. I fill it up with water and I practice with her sippy cup, trying to squirt and make sure I can get, I can get it right. Um, it, it's hard, man. It's hard for me. But sippy cups, that, that's not that's not the same a uh, function as a. Squirt. Yeah, it's. Yes, yes, it is. It is because it it has the 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 sippy cup, the the uh, what you call it? the nipple. The nipple on the sippy cup is the same as the eye drops. It's but the, it's the, realize, it's the thin but one. But you do realize if you turn that bottle up and you don't squeeze it, nothing will come out. Right, but when I do squeeze, it always goes everywhere except in the eye, and it's I'm what? wasting my drops. I mean, so what you doing? You poke it up here? No, I mean, you I a go, cyclops? I go, no, I go like this. I go like this. And then listen, it's so close, I can't even see if it's going in or not. And as soon as I squeeze, the motherfucker always running down my cheek. It always, and yeah, then somebody said, it somebody said, put it in the corner of your eye. If I put yeah, it in the put corner it. of my eye, all I'm gonna do is run down my nose. That don't even make no goddamn sense. Ocho, no, you put it in the corner and you blink a couple of times. And it go all through the eye, Ocho. Somebody gonna have to see send me visual, visual, visual reference so I can get it right. Because this goddamn lumified, this calls but how much is it called? Fifty dollars? Boy, sometimes, boy, that, sometimes. Yeah. I'm amazed I'm, I'm, that you don't walk on your hands and knees. Why? <laughs> nah, and why are you acting like putting it? Are you acting like putting eye drops in is easy. That shit ain't easy. Huh? There's a lot of things in life that seem simple to others that's difficult. And this is one of the things that I find difficult to do. <laughs> it ain't that difficult. Okay? Check this out. Marco donated, uh, donated, and he wants to know. 98 Broncos or the 05 Bengals? Who wins? Oh, 05, 05 Bengals. The offense, offense was too crazy. Offense was too crazy. Listen, I respect I respect your 98 Broncos and what y'all was able to do and accomplish, but y'all didn't have an answer for nothing we had offensively. What was nothing the, we had what was the uh, 98 Broncos? What what was we rated rated uh, uh, in the top in the 100-year history of the NFL? A Super Bowl team. I think we were like top 15. I, I I don't care nothing about your rating. I'm telling you about that 05 Bengals offense and that defense that, that we had that had that didn't I, that didn't win a playoff game. What you mean the one where Carson went down with the knee injury when Chemo and Van o, uh, Offen, whatever his name is, ran into his knee? Yeah, yeah, that that Bengals offense, the one that Ocho, was ranked number, Ocho. The, the number that was ranked. Yeah, the offense that was ranked number one in the goddamn NFL that year. There, that offense. Ocho, Ocho, you Chris real, Henry, T.J. Hushmanzada, Rudy Ocho. Johnson. Yes, that you offense. Do, Ocho, you realize y'all didn't win with ten games. In the regular season. And you think that's prolific. Y'all won 10 games. What does that have to do with the 98 Broncos beating the goddamn 05 Bengals offense? It wasn't happening, baby. It wasn't happening. We're the, 13th, we, 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 we the 13th ranked team. It wasn't happening. There's nothing you could do. And y'all had nothing on. How you was going to stop me? Answer me that. Oh, how, how you was going to stop me? Just answer the question. How you was going to stop me? Pittsburgh name, did. Name your DB. Pittsburgh did. I mean, well, they put three people on me. Oh, God damn. That's pretty easy to stopped do. You. They but stopped y'all, you. y'all didn't do that. Y'all were going to be arrogant on defense. Y'all going to be arrogant on defense and say, you know, we're going to play Oh, we're going to play 85, man. Chris, we were offensive-led team. We had the MVP. We had the uh, league's MVP that league at running back. Okay, what does that have to do? Who? TD. Terrell Ooh, Davis. Hey, that boy was nice. Listen, when y'all run and that And we had two 1,000-yard receivers. Like, when y'all run that stretch play with TD, that mm-hmm. stretch, and if, 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 they, if, if, if they go too far and he cut back, Ugh, that was nasty. And, and, and you was, already saw. I, I sent you Ed Ron and Rod Smith, Ed and, and Ron, Ed McCaffrey. Yeah. Oh yeah, we were locking them up. And you yeah. already saw. I tweeted you a holler. I I tweeted you a little something today. 
Yeah, you were nice. That cause you, you nice. know your boy. I you get nice. I get like I get hot like a spoon in a crack house. Yeah. That's like, <laughs> that between me and you, Ocho. Ocho, that between me and you. Don't let it go no further. So yeah, I ain't gonna let it go. I, ain't, I, run I, I, I ain't gonna let it go nowhere. But I just know one thing: that 05 year might have been one of my best seasons ever. And the fact yeah. that if I got if I got a hold of anybody on y'all defensively, for one, I was gonna have them out the game. Whoever your corners was back then, whoever your safety and your strong safety was, I was gonna talk them out that game before the game even started. Ooh. Trust Ooh. me. Oh, you know, Ooh. back then they could. Oh, you know, back then you get physical. You could hit somebody. I don't care. There was no defensive care. receiver. Hey, I don't care nothing about that. Knock I don't. You out. I don't care nothing about. I don't care nothing about that. I don't care. At what? At did you Warner? see Atwater? At, did you yeah. did you see Atwater lock, knock out Robert Brooks himself? Forget that. And Ray Cro What about when Atwater caught goddamn Christian Okoye coming through yeah. that goddamn a gap? That's two sixty five. So imagine yeah. what he did to a one seventy guy. Listen, the fact the, the hard part is you have to think about it. I played eleven years. You know how many times I got hit clean? Maybe three, maybe three, if that. Every time the ball snap, I know what Atwater has to do and where he has to be and where I'm going. No, so I'm no, I, he don't need okay. to hit you clean. He just need to graze you. That's fine. That's fine. Trust me, I would have, I would have sliced and diced y'all whole defense up, and I mean that respectfully. Breeze donated twenty dollars. He said, "Love the show, Uncle Nocho." But who's the player in today's game that you would love to play with, Unc? I know it's probably Mahomes for you, Ocho. Who you want to play with? Um, a player that I would love to play with in today's game. Boy, that's a good goddamn question. I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about quarterbacks, right? Yeah, I mean, you if you uh, want to play with another receiver opposite, you can. Um, you know what? Honestly, it, it would be really dope. I would have loved to be on the other side of Chase. And if if we if we talking quarterback, obviously, I would have liked Burrow to be that quarterback. If I, I I wish I could be a younger me in today's offense in Cincinnati. You ain't gonna get no balls. Chase getting all the balls. If I'm in my prime, I just see a younger Ocho. Chase getting all the balls. Let me try this again. I say young in my prime Ocho, which would be no no different, no different than me. That we would have been two, we'd have been two thousand yard receivers, just like Rod and Ed McCaffrey. You just said that, didn't they you? Went to testing, 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 testing. Okay, so I'm not reverberating. Chase have been getting all the balls. Okay. Okay. Oh, so, oh, so, oh, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you trying to test your mic to make sure I, I heard yeah, you? I'm right? making sure. I, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Chase okay. get all the balls. I mean, that, that's fine. He can get him. He can be. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I hope they double him too and leave me one on one. And what you think gonna happen? A younger Ocho, huh? That must yeah. Ocho. Hold on, hold on. Stay with me now. That Ocho that had the list of DBs in his locker before the season started and checking them off one by one after every game and all they had to do was stop me just one time. Yeah, that Ocho. Think mm. about it, Ocho. Think about it. How mm. little respect they pay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that's why I mean, Chase go get the ball. Nah, uh, 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 uh. Hey, listen. Remember, if if I'm a younger me and I'm playing in this era, and I'm playing, this, and they can't touch you, they can't. I ain't. I ain't. They they can't hit you. I ain't worried about going across the middle. Why? Well, I, I wasn't worried about that anyway. But just still, record, do you got any records? In, do you got any records in, in Cincinnati? A Chase done broke them all. I think I don't know. I don't really. I don't really pay attention. Once I stop you playing, you pay attention. You no, pay attention. You pay attention. I'm gonna pay attention. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know my records. I don't even got no goddamn memorabilia from when I played. All my touchdown ball. I don't even know my touchdown balls at. I can't even find my. I got a one for one Hall of Fame jacket. I don't even know where that's at. Ocho, I mean, look. I mean, when you go to the, did you trade helmets when you went to the Pro Bowl? Because y'all couldn't get. When I was going to the Pro Bowl, y'all couldn't get y'all helmets away. Nobody wanted no. the Bengals helmet. Shit, me, I took, boy. I took everybody, Carl Pickens. I took Carl Pickens helmets out of pity. Nah, listen, everybody. I had to. I had to bring. They the Bengals had to ship multiple helmets to Pro Bowl just for me to pass out. That's how many. That's how many people wanted my helmet. Ain't nobody want no Bengals helmet. Yeah, they they wanted that Bengal helmet. They, they wanted mm -hmm. they wanted that Bengal helmet because something about that eighty five. It don't matter where you played or what area you in. That eighty five was special. That nah. boy was special. And it, you know what? There's nothing you could do about it. You can't take it away. That is cemented. I'm just ain't telling you. Want the I'm, I'm, I'm just so telling you. I'm just. I'm just telling you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't yeah, gonna you, lie to you. you. Well, I'm, I'm just saying maybe that changed, but not in the '90s, early 2000s. Mm -mm. I mean, I hadn't got there yet. Yeah. I hadn't got there yet. I mean, I ain't got there yet. Matter of fact, the Bengals had a Bengals had a better running back than y'all. Who? Corey motherfucking Dylan. Stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. I don't know if he was. I don't know if he was yeah, there when uh, I was there. We, yeah. All right. Corey, Corey Dillon. 
Matter of fact, he might have had the most rushing yards for a running back. I think it might have been against the Broncos. I was, if I'm there. not mistaken. I was, in, ba- matter. I was in Baltimore. Of, you, you, you're a part of the team. I'm in Baltimore. It don't matter. Who you play for before Baltimore? Check the stats. Where did you, what, where did what, you play at before Baltimore? I was in Denver. Oh, so that means you were a part of the team. That means you got that work too. I was in De- I was in Baltimore. Corey Dillon was better than Terrell Davis. Ha! What? Yeah. Yeah. Against the Ravens in 2000. Pull up those stats. Oh, don't do Oh, don't do that. Ran over them, ran through them like I did. Ran through them. Yeah. The game. Yeah. Not too bad the game. Not you to get you. Man, please. This this is what I do. Talk it and walk it. Talk it and walk it. You at, walked on the field. At, 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 you walked on the field. Then, at then it took you off. At, at one hundred and fifty pounds, I talked it and walked it. Ugh. I would like that. Maybe you hear. You How hear about this baby? here? How about this here? My baby Corey over here Dillon against the two thousand Ravens. This is what Corey Dillon did against the two thousand Ravens. Yeah. Sixteen carries, twenty three yards. What? Sixteen carries, twenty three yards. Why you why you gotta say the two thousand Ravens? You mean probably one of the greatest That's defenses the team of all I was time? On. I was on the, the same, Ra- you mean the same defense that only at that only allowed what 10, 10 points, points a game? A game. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, I was in Baltimore. All right. So oh, so, that, oh, so, so you said oh so you you said forget the, the game against Denver that I'm talking about where he had the most yards. It wasn't there. Okay. Okay. I like what you're doing. That was I like that was a nice. I like it. I like the way you moved the goalpost. I mentioned Denver and you mentioned Baltimore. Okay, you want to talk about what nobody, nobody ran against that goddamn 2000 Baltimore team. So that ain't really saying nothing. So you want me to go back? So you want me to take you? So so when the Broncos lost in the 80s, all those Super Bowls, that was me too, huh? Uh huh. Even though I was in high school and college. Now it don't count. It's just once you ride, once you once you arrive there, and after you leave, you are associated with that team. Oh, that's just so that's you, the way it works. So, so you took a part of this L tonight that the Ravens put on y'all. Yes, that's why anytime I talk about the, about the Bengals, I say we, always. Okay, we. And I don't speak French. We. But I wasn't on that. I wasn't on that uh, Broncos team that Corey like Dillon that. set the record. It's been broken. I mean, Jamal broke it, and now I think uh, AP got the record at two ninety six. So yeah. He had the record. It broke OJ's. Uh, he, no, he broke Walters. I think Walter Payton had the record at two seventy five. He went mm-hmm. two seventy eight. Jamal went two ninety five, and uh, AP went two ninety six against the Chargers. Mm-hmm. John Boy asked if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Superpower? Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. If I could have one superpower, one superpower. You go first. Let me think about that because that 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 that's special. That's special. Let me think about that. If I could have one superpower. I think I want to be invisible. I'm ready. I'm ready. If I had one superpower, I would love to be able to predict the future. I would love to be able to pre- pre- foresee what's going to happen. I would love that. Mm-mm, I don't want I would to know. Love. No? Nope. Well, why you want to be invisible? Who you hiding from? I'm Who you hiding from? Place. I'm going to go to a place. Okay, you... Oh... <laughs> Nah, I don't, I don't want to be. I don't want to be invisible. I want to be able to predict the future. Nah, I want to be able to predict the future, so I know what's to come. So I know what mistakes not to make. Yeah, I like that. I like that ain't me. no fun. Like you tell me, you it got to fun. live, uh, You got you do. I knew. Yeah, but we talk about a hypothetical. A hypothetical that's likely will never ever happen. So if it was, if I did have a power, I want to know. Obviously, life it doesn't come with an instruction booklet. It doesn't come with an instruction book. So the best experience and the best teacher is experience. And you go through life, you go through ups and downs, you go through mistakes. Well, if you can predict the morals. future, you ain't going to get that experience. Bingo. But again, it would just be perfect because I wouldn't make any mistakes at all. And I think that would be great. So I you want to be lot perfect. Of, a lot of, yeah. Yeah, because there's no, way to, there's no way to live perfect. It's impossible. Can you yes. imagine? Can you imagine but, trying no. to follow all Ten Commandments and actually succeeding at doing that in the entirety of your life? That's impossible. But if I could foresee the future... I can show prevent a lot of things from happening. Yeah. Yeah. I know they, one yeah. you ain't gonna forget. I would you what? Lying. Lying? Yeah. Well, mission yeah. lying. What a tattoo. I try I tried to go get it, right? You see it? I tried to go get it today. 
you don't see it? They start they started it a little bit, but that shit hurt, bro. Wait, let me let me let me move my mic so you can see so you can see I'm not playing around. Look, let me come in a little closer. You see it? The the and wait, hey, look, you see the, the and right here? You see the unk? Boy, that boy hit that needle on that he hit that needle on my on that soft skin. Boy, look here, man. The things I do, the things I do, cause I love you. Not now. I gotta get. I gotta go get the uh, goddamn laser uh, tattoo removal. Man, that shit hurt. What? Oh, man, I'm Ocho. Off. I don't know what to say about you. Please make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you click the like Dang. button. Well, we we didn't quite hit three hundred thousand tonight, Ocho. Where we at? I know one thing. I know this goddamn goddamn. Tattoo, man. The beginning of this shit hurt, but I know that. Now I got my goddamn face fucked up because cause I love you. And I did this for my nah. followers. I did this for us. You know, because listen, nah. listen, people, that face, that, that face happened in 78. Huh? That he that looked, face happened. He looked, he looked good too. <laughs> hey, speak, speaking of speaking of this face and this bald head, what? did you see they had a um sexiest 223, 2023 sexiest your mic. bald head your man? Mic. Bring your mic oh. back. Oh, listen, they had this this poll right I saw on Twitter. Yeah. Uh sexiest bald man alive in 2023. Guess who won? Not Prince you. W Prince William. Prince William? Man, Prince William got man, he got he ain't got no hair here. He got hair on the side. Yeah, he, he got, got a sunroof. Yeah, I'm like, what what? I'm like, dude, I was right here. I was look at it. Do me a favor, huh? Like, not not you, not you. Viewers, viewers, any any lady viewers, look at this. Look at it. How do you how do you real, deny this? The watch rail slap you in the back of your head. Nah, she ain't gonna say not real, really secure, really secure. Yeah. She ain't like that. But how do you, how do, listen, how do they, how do they deny this sexiest man alive? With well, who finished head? second? Huh? Who finished second? I don't know. I tweeted, I tweeted it out too. I tweeted it out. They need, they need, they need to recount. They need to recount because I don't think they seen me. And I'm at my best right now. I got on my good stuff tonight. You see me? Huh? See, I got them. Hold on. Let me stand up so you can see me now. Balenciaga, so. Huh? That's fake. Nah, I got I got this on Canal Street. Huh? Yeah. Huh? What them shoes? Them 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 some Asics. They they some uh, Asics. Yeah, I, I see people been wearing a lot of Asics lately. That's the new yeah. thing, huh? I don't know about it's a new thing. They just real comfortable because because cause my feet be hurting. You know, I'm mm -hmm. I'm old now. You know, fifty five now. You got you got you got to find shoes for comfort. It ain't about fashion no more. It ain't about style. No, it's about style. Nah, I ain't, ain't about no style. Now nah, I ain't just nah, I ain't I gotta be comfortable, man. Cause you gotta understand now, I, I'm gonna I be have comfortable, that, I, but I ain't wearing no orthopedics. My, well, yeah, I got orthopedics. Cause cause my feet, you know, my feet, my feet were 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 brilliant at, at one no, you point slew. in time. You probably wore braces as a kid. You slew footed. I matter of fact, I am slew footed for real. I, yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, but that that's the reason why I was able to stop on the dime. It's because I was slew footed, so it made it easier for me to stop and start to get the top speed. Like that, and and now my feet, my feet need the comfort because of the way you had no far. You had no far as gun braces. How do you know? I did. And the funny thing about it, when I wore them braces, I also had a girl back then. Her name was Jenny. It's crazy, just like the movie. Yeah, I had I had the far as gun braces. Everybody used to make fun of me, but they really couldn't say nothing because I was dating a girl named Jenny. Say something. I mean, they could, but Jen, Jenny was fighting for me. She was fighting for me. Nah, I ain't that girl listen, back I, there. Yeah, I know she probably. I know she probably gonna see this. Oh my God, he, he talked about me. This way back in third grade too. Jen, Jenny beating the yeah, boy. Jenny would beat motherfuckers up by me, boy. Don't play with my love. Don't, don't play with my brace, baby. <laughs> Thank you for watching another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports uncle. Yeah, I got to go to work in the morning. Wait, <laughs> where where are you? I, what you got to do tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow Friday. I work, Ocho. Nah, I know you work, but what you got to do tomorrow? You just be trying somebody to get gotta off. Make the, somebody got to make the donuts. Krispy Kreme? Donuts. I I stay in a hard hat in Tim's. Oh, me, me too, me too, me too. But I, I, got, I got a day off tomorrow. That's why I want to get off. <laughs> make sure you click that subscribe button. Thank you. I'm your favorite sports song. Thank you for watching another episode of Nightcap. He's your favorite number 85, even though his team got beat. Hey, uh...
<laughs> How do you deal with this? You see my baby. It it ain't easy. It ain't easy. Yeah, you see my baby. Yeah. Like we're not singing. The, we're not. <laughs> you see, you see me blushing. Yeah, I, I can't tell though, but you probably are. <laughs> I hey, take you, I take your word for it. Yeah, we not we singing a, we singing a song in the show. Or, or what we doing? What song you want to sing? It's on you. It's on you. You you let me know where you want to go. And and listen, I got I got the, I got the lyrics to anything you you want to sing. What you want to sing? Who, who who you like? Who your who your favorite singer? My favorite singer? Oh, I got I yeah. got too many. I got too many. Because I know you like a you like a particular and a certain type of music, and you I can do. take I'm me where you want type to. Of genre. Yeah, certain type of genre. So wherever you go with it, the way you are with dogs is the way I am with music and genres. I can sing almost anything. All you got to do is tell me what you want. Or I can take no. us home. You just let me know. Okay, I'm going to let you have it. Go ahead. What you want to say? Uh, nah, I, but you got you to mention it first. I don't know. But we got to get it. We got to get the people what they want. I think this is the best part of the show is the fact that we end the, we end the show with a song. And you get to show the people your range. Uh, I'm trying to get on the voice because I know I know you don't see this. I, and sing. All I need is an opportunity. All I need is a chance. Sometimes, all once my foot is in the door, a uh, mass singer. If I can get on mass singer or the voice, it's a wrap. America, America's uh got talent. That's where I need to be. Because if I get on there, it's over. I'm telling you. And I'm gonna show you my range right now, cause I don't have I don't have my, my peppermint tea tonight. What's is some is some there soda or something? No. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready, huh? Yeah, you sure. What, I mean, what you, what, you 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 going you going through that catalog? You don't you don't know no I'm music. Try to find a song that that uh, that you that you know, huh? Cause I know everything. Man, what y'all want to hear? What what do people, I call want to hear Ocho sing? Yeah, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him to give me a song. Give me a song. <clears throat> Cause I'm I'm feeling good too. Pass me not, oh gentle, gentle savior. savior. Oh, hear my humble cry. I think we I, I think we missed. Uh, what's the name of that song? Hold on. Pass me not. Pass me not. And Nesby. Hmm. Pass me not, oh gentle mm, savior. Mm, 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 mm. You know that? I do. I know the song. Yeah, I know the song. Hold on, we, we, we used to sing it all the time. Pass me not, oh gentle savior. Hear my other cry. Yeah. While others are thou smiling, do not pass. Let me, me, let me know you're ready. Let me I know don't think. Ready. I don't think we sung that version. We made up some of these lyrics. Nah, <laughs> nah. Hey, no, I'm just, just saying what we what they what they want to hear what. They, they're asking, hey, gonna... Michael, they're asking for MJ. Nah, I ain't singing no Michael, man. We got you don't want to say no you say no dirty Diana. Nah, I'm 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 gonna hit that pass me not just the first, just the it's pass me not before the chorus is only four lines. I'm gonna hit them four lines and we out. Yo. Mm -mm. You know, All you gotta do is just put up put put up pull up pull up pass me not pull up pass me not lyrics. It's only four lines, we out of there. That's all you want to say? The four lines? Okay. Yeah, because the chorus is after that. <laughs> yeah, okay. for people that people at home that's watching, if you don't know Pass Me Not, yeah. look up okay, and Nesby. And okay. Nesby. Let me know you're ready. I, 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 me, me, I'm me, 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 me. You ready? La, 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 la. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three. Pass, Pass me, me not, not oh gentle, gentle savior. savior. Hear my humble cry. cry. Stay on tune now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Savior, 
Savior. Here Eduardo, Eduardo, I hold on, Ocho. Eduardo Tapia just come in and never got paid. Eduardo, we've been trying to track you down, bro. Drop your email or IG in the chat, my guy, bro. We told you how you could get paid. Oh, Drop he, your email he or IG. No. So and he so trying to blame us. He trying to yes. blame us, and he don't listen to directions. Follow directions, Eduardo. Yeah, Drop Eduardo, your email yeah, or IG in the chat. How about this? One more time, Eduardo. Drop your IG yeah. or your email in the chat and your location. <laughs> yeah. Oh, matter of fact, Uncle, you know what I forgot to tell you about what happened. Me and Andre Ward doing an exhibition in 2024 in Saudi Arabia. No, Ocho. I'm all right. Now, see, now, see, oh boy, listen, me and Andre Ward are doing an exhibition in Saudi Arabia. I'm not playing around. I'm me, me and Dre talked about it tonight. We talked about it tonight, and we're gonna get it situated. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about logistics and we're gonna thump and we're gonna thump. I, I'm just, I'm letting you know first. So now, when it happens, you, come won't to, you, won't when, you when go happen deal and, with one of them? You know what you should do? Go fight one of the Paul brothers. Nah, man, nah, man. I, I, no, no disrespect to them. Them boys, them boys be working. I want to get in there with the best, and I want to show the world. Like, look, I really been putting in the work. I've been, I've been taking what, what I'm doing. What take, what take out, what take out Jake Paul then? It's, it's weight classes for a reason, huh? What the hell you think Andre Ward is? Uh, Andre Ward fought, fought at 168. Yeah, that's, right now, right you know now, that I'm, is, one, that's I'm, I'm, one, I'm, I'm 170. I'm, I'm 170, so that's right up my alley. So we're going to get it on. I just had to tell you, I want you to know first. So when it comes into fruition, you can be like, you know what? Ocho said that was going to happen. And it's this time I'm not lying. You know, me and me, Dre, my boy, and we we, we going to thump. We going to get it on. Man, that man about to put a may not on your head. Nah, nah, trust me. You, you're going to be surprised. It may go down. It may not. No, listen, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be like, you're gonna be like, oh, my goodness, boy. I ain't know. Listen, I ain't, I I ain't going to say nothing. You'll see. I, Ocho. I've, been put, I've been putting in the work, baby. Ocho, you're not going to beat no professional boxer, no ex professional boxer. I, but who did anybody say anything about what? what I'm going in there to thump, man. I'm going there to thump. You know, at uh, in December, we're gonna have to uh, uh, start singing Christmas carols. Yo, I can't wait. Matter of fact, we could we could we could one up the people, we could do the show, right? And we could do Carolyn, we could do Carolyn like in front of people's houses. I ain't going in front of nobody's house. People shooting people now. Over the wrong door. People, only people. Nah, I ain't going. Uh, can house. you imagine me and you in front of people's houses singing Christmas carols? Jingle no. bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Shannon's all going the way. to bed. Oh, what fun it is. To it is to <laughs> nah, hey, you need to think about that, though. Get your team together. Okay. I get my team together. We, we take the kids, take the kids with us, all my kids, your kids. And we have Uncle Nocho Christmas caroling in L.A. My kids grown. My kids they can no sing Carolyn. Christmas Carolyn, man. Come on, you are you ain't in the spirit. Thank you for watching another episode of Nightcap. I'm your host Shannon Sharp. He's your host Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Pass We're me not old gentle say Ocho. Yes, get sir. off the line. People go to sleep. Yeah. Night night. All right, I love.